I do want to get into what you're doing, Congresswoman. You're launching this investigation into the Small Business Administration after a new report from the agency's inspector general found it overpaid a contractor millions of dollars for running COVID pandemic loan programs. Can you ex um, explain more about this investigation? Sure. Basically, what we found was was a during the time of the pandemic, there were billions of dollars that were thrown at the SBA to try to get small businesses funding that they needed so they wouldn't have to lay off employees, they wouldn't have to shut their doors. SBA has had now three years to review these programs. The the inspector general's office has had time to review what what exists as far as waste, fraud, and abuse, and they have a number of different recommendations that they've made, a number of different reports. What we're seeing from SBA is instead of acting on these recommendations from the inspector general's office, they're often ignoring them, publicly ridiculing them, and stuffing them under the rug. This was a particular example of where they had outsourced tremendous amounts of work to larger firms, even though it was specified that it would be small businesses. They overpaid to large firms in excess, I mean, multi multinational corporations. And instead of looking at where um, the billings were, for example, in Washington, D.C., which is where they build almost exclusively 100 percent of the billing, much more expensive, nearly, nearly 12 to 18 percent more than other areas of the country. That's what they were billing, even though these employees were in places like Dallas.